Let's get more on this and speak to Leo Enright, a space commentator and a broadcaster. Leo, great to talk to you. Thanks very much for joining us. First of all, so the Aditya L1 has a long journey ahead of it. It stops, what, about 1% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And then what does it do? By the way, it's going around the Sun, not around the Earth. Is that right? Okay, so the L1 position, the Lagrange point, is used by several spacefaring nations to position spacecraft so that they're above the Earth, but between the Earth and the Sun permanently, so they see the Sun all the time, but can talk to the Earth all the time as well. This is a unique position in space, very, very difficult to achieve an orbit in this position. And the fact that India are on their way, it will take them some months, but the fact that India are on their way is an extraordinary achievement uh, by this newly uh, asserting itself space nation. Well, yeah, I mean, India's been busy, hasn't it? It's only 10 days since it got a rover onto the, the near the south pole of the moon. Also, the program, I gather, is extremely economical by, say, NASA standards. Uh, so they're doing well there. Is this all about prestige or science or both? I, I think it's both and also economic uh, because there is a strong... Uh, pressure on countries now to understand the sun much better than we have in the past because of its influence on what we call space assets that is satellites in orbit around the earth and on their way to the moon and mars are affected constantly by the sun uh, the indian space program likes to talk about the angry sun that is the sun when it has huge explosions on its surface that st send vast amounts of energy out towards the earth this can damage satellites including indian satellites and they want that spacecraft out there to warn them about the dangers of these what we call solar storms now the indians have got what 50 satellites up there already there are tens of thousands of international satellites one way or the other orbiting the earth all sending well, all having different purposes but this business of sending data back uh, I understand what you're saying about the warnings of the sun's behavior, but these satellites also send back information don't they, that's beneficial to the economy, to agriculture, to understanding the prevarications of weather on Earth as well, aren't they? Absolutely. And in fact, the, the whole basis, the whole rationale for India's space program at the beginning uh, was communications because of the vast size of the country and weather, most importantly, because of the typhoons, particularly in the Bay of Bengal. The Indian space program has saved millions of lives uh, over the decades since they began launching weather satellites. And as you say, also the cost. The Americans and the Europeans typically might spend up to 1.5 billion dollars sending a spacecraft to one of these Lagrange points. Uh, India just spent 50 million. Another project still in the offering, offering is to put live astronauts into orbit, which India hasn't done uh, so far. Is that likely to happen soon? It's definitely in their plans. And every success with these very, very complex deep space missions to the moon and now be way beyond the moon, 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. These all increase the confidence of India's space planners as they look to towards launching women and men into space sometime towards the end of this decade. I mean, briefly, uh, Leo, is India setting an example here about how to do things more efficiently and more cheaply and pointing to NASA absentmindedly and saying you guys waste a lot of money? Well, absolutely, India is demonstrating to many, many uh, smaller countries, developing countries at any rate, uh, that in fact space is not the uh, bailiwick only of the superpowers. This is now something that every country needs to be involved in for their own good, for their citizens. And India has demonstrated that it can be done without breaking the bank. Splendid. Leo, thanks very much indeed. Leo N. right there. Thanks for joining us.